You literally could have taken any kid off the corner, but you chose me. Why? These fools in the streets acting like they got something to prove. They only want to hustle for the money and the flash, but not you. You're special. Welcome to Atlanta. You've got everything you could ever want. Culture, style, and of course, music. But if you look deeper, there's a whole other side you've never seen before. Please. Welcome to my world. How was it like working with Future on this? What type of insight did he give you on how to like better portray Atlanta? I mean, Future wasn't really... Those weren't our conversations. The com Future conversations were always very musical driven. What's the music going to be? What are we trying to touch on? What's the vibe? What's the feeling? You know, I went to see him in the studio. He had the movie playing. He had the script out. He had all the, you know, really kind of diligently doing the work on the film. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy with what he brought to us. Okay, awesome. So uh, speaking about the music, I initially read that you actually asked Cher if she could do the. Do <laughs> no, it. I was just playing. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, Future and I, so there, I did a Gap commercial with Cher and Future. Right. And uh, you know, while there as well, oh, Future, you should do this. But I joke with folks that uh, I asked Cher first, you know, and then she turned us down. And I went to Future. He was our second choice after Cher. Because <laughs> I was thinking, how would the trajectory of the <laughs> film go if Cher... Super, that would be so great. <laughs> that would be amazing. Superfly with an original soundtrack from Cher. Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> I really appreciate in the film that you incorporated a sort of theme of police corruption mm. in it. What do you hope that what what is the message that you hope audiences get from that? I mean, look, the that comes from the original movie, when we really took the original movie and broke it down. So, mm -hmm. what what happens in the original film? Who are the characters? We really stayed true to the original movie, and then when we expanded things or changed things, mm -hmm. those changes were informed by things we would believe today, what things that would be different today, that we had to address because you just it it, it shake reality. Right. But in the original film, Priest gets involved with dirty cops. And at the end, he kicks their ass. So <laughs> that's it. Uh, we, had to, we had to do that ourselves. I, again, I wanted to make a movie firmly rooted in the original movie. Mm -hmm. So when you go and see this, you're seeing Superfly. Mm -hmm. You're seeing a new version of Superfly. But be very clear, our respect and reverence of the original is always present. Mm -hmm. Being that there's so many films out there with similar themes like Belly, Paid in Full, what do you think sets Superfly apart from those and why was it important to you to make this remake? This is a big action movie. We're way more um, Fast and Furious than we are, you know, hood drug movie mm -hmm. completely. And I wanted to do that. I wanted to make something that's a big action film, you know, the, the chases and the fights and the things. Even though the we start in the drug world, we're not in the hood. You don't see people moving. You don't. You, you, we're not. I'm not doing that old narrative. I don't want to make. I didn't want to make a movie that uh, young kids would watch and really feel like I was showing them their world and that they need to step up their gangster. Right? You know, um, it's an action film, man. You want to come and see. You know, the bad guy with the big house with the armed guards mm -hmm. and the, like the stuff that we are used to seeing from big white action movies. Right. I wanted to bring these elements into here, and we get one too. And, uh, you know, again, you don't watch Fast and Furious like, what's the socioeconomic statement they're trying to make? <laughs> yeah. They drive a Ferrari out of a helicopter and land it on a boat. And then, you know what I mean? So we're, we're way more of that. Let's just have some fun with it. But again, um, the original and the, the topic that this comes from lends itself to some social commentary. But uh, that was not the primary goal. Of it. The, the primary goal is entertaining. We want to entertain you, and then the original led us down some roads that speak to today.